We're here in the town that I was actually born in, Andover, Kansas, which was recently hit by a tornado. One of the most photographed and recorded tornadoes in recent history, which is, makes sense. It's the most recent tornado in recent history. My buddy Brandon was actually here at the YMCA when the tornado hit. Thankfully here in Kansas, we more or less know what to do when tornadoes happen and there were no fatalities anywhere for this entire tornado. So we're very, very thankful for that. But his truck, um, yeah, maybe we should say no human fatalities because this truck is definitely dead. But I bought it from him for scrap price effectively and uh, I'm gonna see if I can do something with it. With, with what's left of it. Ugh. But first we gotta get on a trailer, so we're working on that. And of course, nothing is simple. In a disaster situation like this, there's a special set of laws, regulations, and liability that apply. So actually just getting permission from the people to get this truck was such a mess. Usually it's the insurance companies that deal with this sort of thing and they have processes all lined up. They know exactly who to talk to. For me, it was multiple trips to the police department to get authorization. There were some issues with the title work. It was a big old thing, but finally, um, after like six days of back and forth, I'm picking up my new truck, a Z71 GMC Sierra 1500. Um, I think it's like a 2005 or six. It's got a 5.3. It's got a uh, uh, the best transmission GM ever made, the four-wheel drive 4L Slippy, and uh, uh, it's rust-free frame. Wow, look at that. Uh, I mean, there's some surface rust, but hey, you know what? If you look at the underneath, this truck's in great shape. Just don't look too close at the front here where the situation's a little bit more sad. Now, when I first was told about this truck, this was the only picture I had, and I was like, oh, yeah, it's just sat on its roof for a little bit. I didn't realize the front was smashed in. Fortunately, I think, um, I think all the important bits are okay. The accessory drive is hosed. Obviously, the radiator is hosed, but for what I want this truck for, I just want the frame, the engine, the trans, the wheels, the suspension. Hey, look, another GMC Sierra. The logistics of <laughs> getting this out of here are quite interesting. Fortunately, the interior on this truck is in really good shape. Ooh, eh, that seat's a, a bit hosed. I might be able to part out some of this interior and make a few bucks back. Oh no, you're gonna damage the paintwork. Daniel, why would you do this? Maybe it'll buff out. I'm gonna make an insurance claim. You can see where it slid sideways. I, I'm trying to piece together what exactly happened to this thing. It was like sideways and flipped over and then ate a pole maybe? All the poles are still standing. What's really impressive is that the YMC building itself, I mean, it's there after a direct hit from a tornado. The only damage to it was damage from debris from other buildings that came apart. <laughs> so that's that's pretty impressive. And the water park still exists. <laughs> Is it totally jammed? Yeah, it's pretty pissed off. Hmm. It has been 15 minutes. How did I manage this already? Really? Oh, right, it's in park. Steps. It's not gonna tear my fender off, is it? It doesn't look like it. Yeah. We got our we got our guide fender here. I'm clearancing.
speed. Oh. <laughs> well, it's been a couple weeks and uh, I haven't seen the truck. Somehow it, it it's worse than I remember. But I didn't want to end this video without us doing anything to it. So we're gonna um, try to make some sense out of all of this. We got a door open at least so we can see in the interior uh, what little is left. But the goal is to at least pull the engine back to where it's sort of sitting roughly where it should so that we can steer the truck and pull the truck. If you want to see something sad, this is like a brand new, this was the spare. Oh, I don't think you can patch that. <laughs> That's unfortunate. And then that tire went flat again, and then we haven't aired that tire up again. So right now there's a grand total of one functioning wheel and tire on this truck, but it's whatever. Um, I'm told the cats are worth at least $300. So, hey, if nothing else, I can bail out and ball out. Right, there's a lot of detrius in my way, and I think the solution is going to be large chain with hook attached to truck and, and pull. Where did the ECU go? Zeph, where'd the ECU go? Okay, you have it. All right, noted. Uh, this is how we uninstall stuff. Yep. So what's the game plan? Go forward is the game plan. Yeah? Yeah, I mean, it's just the radiator. <laughs> hey, it worked. Yeah, it kind of worked. Okay. Yay. This is easy. Working on cars is easy. I'm a mechanic. Sure. Boo! All right, so here's the plan. It's not a very good one, but here it is. The water pump is absolutely destroyed. So I'm gonna hook onto the water pump and we're gonna try and pull the engine back uh, straight and forward and just kind of hope that it slides. So we're gonna pull it in a thatwardly direction. And um, yeah, cause right now it is actually sitting on the steering shaft and it makes actually moving this pretty difficult. Oh look, a shingle, neat. We did get the that off. So much, much better access. Now I just like to kind of yank this fender out so I can get the battery out and get to the fuse box and ascertain things and I'd like to get the door open. But for now, what I like to bring in, alternator bracket, right. yeah. That is beef. It is what's for dinner. RIP power steering, we didn't need you anyway. I mean, not like the power steering is functional anyway. Hang on, we can uh, hold it in place with the belt. Ah, oh, damn it. Can you though? Hey, it was tricky getting it in there. Never underestimate the determination of an idiot. There! <laughs> How many of us does it take to screw in a light bulb? Nothing happened. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, nope. I think it's wedged in there pretty darn good, which is inconvenient. God, my ears. Moving. Okay, well, I guess now we give it some out. That sure isn't doing anything. <laughs> That's pretty impressive though. Hey, look, an air box. Add that to the parts pile. Hey. Hey. Oh Lord. Neat. Oh, there we go, now it's fine. Hmm. Yeah, I'd say the alternator bracket was uh, not okay. We'll get to the LS in here eventually. So the situation as it stands. 
nice hole in the timing cover. Still not sure if the uh, crank pulley is bent, but honestly, the engine itself looks usable. Uh, that motor mount, on the other hand, um, yeah, that's what's currently fighting us. Though, let's see, nothing is sitting on the steering shaft anymore. I don't think that's supposed to be bent there, so the steering shaft is kind of totaled, but it might move now, so we might be able to steer the truck if we get the tires inflated and or swapped out for fixable ones. So I think at this point, we just try to spin this motor over by hand and see what happens and maybe put some power to it and see if uh, any of these electronics still work. The breaker bar. Hey! Feels like ass compression, boys. Sweet. Oh no, now the OnStar's not gonna work. Ooh, we have lights. <laughs> hey! We have crank, need mo power, but hey, it spins. And the wipers work. The engine is not locked up, so that's a, that's a win. Naturally, the truck has come to rest on the engine crane, so uh, now we've got to get the engine crane out. You can just go put it away now. Quietest ride of my life. I don't think anyone would appreciate us leaving this out here. Well, we'll call that the end of day one. We got the truck here uh, and we got the, half of the engine apart. This is probably the most effort ever put into just getting an LS, but uh, we'll get there eventually. And no, I'm not gonna tell you what my plan with this is. I do have a plan, but feel free to leave me suggestions in the comments because I bet some of you will get it right. I'm gonna go hydrate. Thanks for watching. <laughs>